Okay, so I'm just an idiotic stupid dog. This, in another setting, you would call this a hot take. Because all we're trying to do is glob on or piggyback on to Donald Trump's mugshot. Not even anything else to do with Donald Trump or all his other entanglements or all the others here to fours. Just that freaky, deaky mugshot. You see one. Whatever. Donald... He was sporting some kind of, uh, he was trying to look a little, if you ask me, I'm an idiotic, stupid dog, you understand, don't get me wrong, he looked a little demonic, like he's the demon inside him that's been controlling him low these last so many years, he's like almost coming out into the fore. Gosh almighty, you know, don't let, don't let the demon come out, God almighty, don't please don't let the demon come out. The thing you would think about, uh, when you look at that mud shot, is that Donald's got the sinister eyebrows. I mean, this guy, I, I would make fun of Donald eight ways from Saturday, but this boy, you're not going to make fun of those sinister eyebrows. If this kid had to act in a movie like Freddy Krueger's Nightmare Part 17, he could come in with them eyebrows alone and make some bank. Plus, he's got like his hair's kind of tuft-tuled, like it's got some kind of little horns underneath it. On either side, there's a, you know, it follows almost a, eyebrow-esque raise, almost like the Grinch could do with his whole forehead situation. There's a lot of missing hair. Donald got to double up on the Propecia. There's a lot of scalp, a lot of pink scalp shining through the blonde strawberry hair of Donald. The Donald's blonde slash strawberry hair. There's a lot of pink scalp. Maybe that's, it's blonde with the pink from the showing scalp gives it a strawberry s coal you know, connotation but whatever it's okay the thing you would say about donald is that uh he also used his uh, whatever you say experience as the great entertainer on nbc the apprentice now in syndication enjoy it. it's beautiful he had tipped the chin down to hide his double chins. He's tipping his... He, look, guy, he took like 35 years off his life. Donald looks like he's 35 years younger just by tipping the chin. And then a mugshot, you know, you can't control it. You could take 15 tries. You could say, guys, I'll give you a couple thousand dollars to make sure you hide my double chin. I get the, you know, the just exact right chin tilt. This kid pegged it. Donald pegged the chin tilt. He got the exoneration of the uh, double chins. He looks 30 years younger. He's got the evil eyebrows going. His scalp is showing through his strawberry blonde hair, but almost it looks like there's two little demon-esque antlers, two antlers from a demon trying to poke through over at his temple. So it looks so cool and sinister. Remember, Donald, his big thing was, at this point he has an inmate number, so Donald's like, I'm really proud. And he went on X. X marks the spot. XCO. The closest we could come to the swastika without revealing our true intentions, Elon Musk said once in his sleep. It's X, formerly known as Twitter. He got on there because he had to raise some money. Donald's was like, I got to raise some fucking money. I, uh, now I got to pay for Rudy Giuliani and the other one, the marshmallow mouth. Jeepers, creepers. Finally, Woody comes out of the woodwork. Oh, gosh almighty. The great mayor. He's like, I got to go do $100,000 plate meals for this cat. Sheepers, creepers, Donald was getting... But anyways, Donald put on uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, his inmate number, which was PO11358809. I hope the Secret Service doesn't come and roust up the dog in his sleep because I printed his inmate number that he was so you know, proudly printed himself. He said in a big quotation mark, I was always begging for money. He dropped down on two knees. He made like a little thing, like he held up like he was holding a big zucchini next to his mouth and he made like a pucker in his lips and he kind of motioned and he stuck his tongue in his right cheek to look like it was like a big giant stiff cock was stuffed right into his mouth and he did that over and over. He said, that's a meme. He said, I need money. I can't pay all these lawyer fees, let alone run a presidential campaign over here. He was like memeing, like, I will do anything. I'll drop to my knees and get whatever going on if I could get a little bit of money. It's dried up. The money's dried up. Ron DeSantis' money dried up. Asa Hush and, and Chris Christie all of a sudden are coming to the fore. Nikki Haley's trying to, and, and all of a sudden Ted Cruz is saying he wishes he would have gotten in. And Marco Rubio, his little cousin, is trying to get in. It doesn't matter. The big takeaway from all this 
inmate number PO1135809. He said, in quotation marks, and this is from Rutgers. You know it's real. Rutgers is in between like CNN and Fox News. He says, I did nothing wrong. And then he put that on Elon Musk's ex, formerly known as Twitter, the whatever. So anyways, Donald, this has all been about Donald. This has all been a globule parasitic attachment, a leeching of the dog towards the Donald. You know, the dog, they go for the crotch. I'm going to bite Donald right in the side, right in his groan, right there in the side of the thigh, in the groan area. I'm going to make Donald moan. I'm going to say, Donald, you know, I own you now. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm just a parasitic leech-ish thing globbing on to this walking hot take that is your former president and mine. Oh, we always used to love him in the old days. Whatever, it doesn't matter.